and it looks like we're live. Welcome everyone to the Ails and Fails Twitch stream. I'm your host, Alewolf, otherwise known as Ails, Gentleman Streamer, the excellence of an execution, the no throw and scissorone. And welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to Thursday. It's been a week. We've been missing you. People have been talking about where you have been. And uh, there's wanted posters out there, some pictures on milk cartons. But you know what? It's okay because you're here. And uh, we're going to have a grand old time for the next couple of hours or so. I, first of all, have to start off with an apology. And I realize at this point it's probably like a measurable... Uh, quantity where I have to start off a stream with an apology because you know what folks plans uh, plans tend to fail and that's a uh, that's kind of an issue I uh, meant to stream about half an hour ago and uh, chores and just a hectic morning got the best of me so apologies if anybody was waiting for a 1 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time start time um, I apologize if you held back your lunch just because you wanted to watch this. I don't imagine why anybody would do that and I certainly don't recommend it. Uh, your doctor probably also doesn't recommend it. Certainly not your nutritionist. Um, but once again, I apologize. I'll try to do better. Uh, here's hoping still to run for about two hours this afternoon before I have to take off. Uh, today, we'll actually be going back into the world of Mega Man Zero. And if anybody caught the last stream, uh, what is it? one week ago why is that hard to remember one week ago uh we were having a lot of issues and uh, it was specifically getting through the first real boss of the game something falcon or other um uh, since then i've watched a number of youtube videos talk about this game and of course every single one of them starts with mega man zero is the hardest mega man uh ever and for me, somebody that has never completed a Mega Man game, that was a, that was at the very least a humbling fact that I learned. So <clears throat> I, I didn't really do any training, and honestly, I, I think what's going to happen is I'm just going to push through. I don't plan on decreasing the difficulty level on, on my run. I want to keep it at normal. I, I don't think that I want to play a game uh, at an easier setting than whatever is deemed normal at the time that the game was created but i will make use of the save points that were added as quality of life improvements for the game when uh, the collection was released so there's that and in addition to it i'll also be using a strategy wiki <clears throat> and that is at, at the very least with the f with the attempt to try to collect every cyber elf I don't actually know whether or not I'll be using the Cyber Elves or not. I'm kind of ambivalent about it. I want to see if I can try to get through the adventure without making use of them. But once again, I'm a I'm an amateur. I, I don't know necessarily if I'll if I'll be able to pull it off. I'm sure at some point I'll I'll break and um, and that'll be that. <clears throat> so that's a uh, I think that's uh, that's enough expertise. I'll, I'll be using the save points. Uh, and I'll be using a strategy, but beyond that I'll be playing at a normal level and hopefully learning along the way I, I might even have to indulge in watching like a video as to how to beat a boss and And that's fine. I might be doing some grinding because I also learned that apparently if uh, you grind your weapons They get stronger. So imagine that RPG elements already in your action games uh, who would have thought uh, So that's what we'll be doing uh, generally, at this point, I would probably start off by talking about what I'm drinking tonight, but I think we're going to hold off for about 30 minutes before I get something to drink, and that's because I recently had a Red Bull, and I think I need to still wash it out. So for right now, I'll just be drinking some high-quality H2O. So that's, uh, that's a lot of stuff. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and get started. And of course... Here we go. <clears throat> In just a second here, let me put the volume back on. Okay. Oh, and I do have a question of the night pinned. Uh, very simple one. Who is your favorite robot? I was thinking about this question myself, and I think that my favorite robot has to be um, 
What's his name? Now it's just the Iron Giant because he has a heart of gold. So let me know what your favorite robot is or don't and tell me how your day's been. This is a chatty stream after all. I, I don't want to. Okay, here we go. So we're playing Mega Man Zero. We're doing the save assist. <clears throat> and we are starting. English edition is go. And like I said, I'm restarting the whole adventure just because I believe that I missed a few things in that uh, in the base between the golem and the first stage. Load save assist, new game. And so this is this escape scene. Not necessarily going to uh, speed through it just because you know what? This is a cozy stream, no need to rush here. Let's just take it easy. And walk through. And like I said, I'll be using a wiki from Strategy Wiki once the page loads. If you want to follow along, it's strategywiki.org strategy slash wiki slash Mega Man Zero. Unfortunately, this page is littered with ads. But the people at Strategy Wiki have to feed their families. A strong energy inside. This must be the place. <clears throat> okay, leave this to me. Stay back, CL. I don't know why I gave him a chipmunk-style kid voice. You should go. I'll take care of them. This must be... Dun dun dun... Mega Man Zero. We found them! At last! Wow! It's protected. What should I do? What? Whoa! That was the kid, kidder one. Watch out! We are cornered. We have to evacuate now. But we have no time to argue. Milan to Minsk. Ciel. Ciel. Huh? You should use my power. You have no choice. And of course the idea is that whenever a cyber elf uses their power, they die. Which is why I don't want to use them. But we'll see. What? Passy? If I do, you'll be... Don't worry about me. Remember, everyone is waiting for your... Safe return. Okay, thank you. No, I should thank you, Seal. Goodbye. And, like I said, the launch sequence of a century. Better than a Tinkerbell launch. Boom. Maybe lower the speed of the fan over here might be a bit loud. Okay. Zero has been resurrected. <clears throat> hmm. Zero? Help me, please. So this is the start of the first mission. And let's see. Start off with the underground laboratory, and like I said, I am following the strategy wiki, so I might be reading every once in a while, which might be good, you know, it might help me catch up on chat, the non-existent chat that I have. 
Okay. Sage walkthrough before the next mission. This is in the under underground laboratory. And of course, I'm trying to find every cyber elf at the underground laboratory. Okay, before I do that though, options. And I think I do want type A, where my jump is A. Main weapon is B, dash is L, R is sub weapon. And then in terms of attack mode, I think I want to give them single single inputs no cross pollination here you got a cyber elf and that one is clock path Okay. And one thing that I also learned last time was the fact that apparently once you get the Z Saber you're able to charge your weapon, which I never did against that uh, eagle monster. Or was it Hawk? You know what? That It's irrelevant. Oh no. I'm caught in my own web of lies. And then I did read that this is a good place to charge my weapon or grind out weapon stuff. So I think I will do that for a hot minute. That is a lot of spiders, boss. You got a cyber elf. Who is that? Who is that cyber elf, I tell ya? That is stock Q. Where is that? I wonder if some cyber elves are actually destroyed by Pantheon Guardians to get the cyber elf stock Q. Okay, after the fourth, now you face blue Pantheon Guardians and you can get statue from them. Okay. Can I actually level up my weapon from here though? That is the real question. Get over here, you. Oh, come on. Can't avoid sim simple creatures. Now what I really wish though was that there was a meter to show me how powerful my gun is becoming. Oh right, I'm not supposed to attack. You know, it, it might not make a lot of sense for me to uh, try to do this while this girl is accompanying me. Let's just go to the golem room.
And nice, and that's uh, that should be statue. There we go, stock you and statue. Which is funny, I think I that I encountered these during my original run. What el what other cyber elves are there? <clears throat> Transfer back, clock path. Uh, walk in the door behind CL, it only happens if you have an A or S ranking. I'm definitely not gonna get every single one because I really don't think that I'm going to do very well with the rankings. But the only person that can determine whether or not I did well is Mo from Guts. What? It's a dead end. What should we do? Wouldn't they still receive the same impact? I, th I think that uh, even if he held her in her hands while, while she was falling, uh, you'd still have that uh, impact in your, in your body. But what do I know? This place seems to be a prehistoric laboratory. We may be able to find a trans server back to the resistance base. Good stuff. Oh, I can actually go back. Wish I could flip back and forth Ninja Gaiden style, but I feel like that would be... Oh, once again, the, the issue with not being able to crouch. Alright. All right, bombs explode. All right, let's let's get out of here. Ah, oh, I forgot I forgot the idea of respawning enemies. Boom! How nice this passage was passageway has collapsed in. Shall we go back? Stay back! Okay, so here we go. First boss is the golem. Zero, no! Run, you can't damage this thing with a buster. I wish they would explain how she knew that. Okay, so here we go. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Oh, come on. Right, I keep getting hit by these blocks. Ah, I keep forgetting that that's gonna happen. And and that too. Rats. Huh? Here's a bone. Use this zero. Who are you? Hurry, you have to save her. Don't waste time. down he goes with a single slash of the sea saber who knew robots greatest weakness was a uh, beam swords rocks beat papers papers beat rocks beam sabers beat robots can't believe you were able to destroy a golem we were, you we were right you are zero the legendary reploid Zero. Is that my name? Ah, uh, I can't remember. Just relax for a moment. You have hibernation sickness. I had that a few days ago. I'm sorry for forcing you to wake up. And thank you for saving me. My name is Ciel. I'm a scientist. 
Let's go to our base before more enemies arrive. What if I'm not the zero you were talking about? You proved to me that you are zero by saving me from the golem. Well, I guess that's uh, proof enough for everyone. Uh, and let's get out of here. Let's make it like a tree and get out of here. We are in luck. The trans server is still active. Stand on the trans server and press up and then you can go back to our resistance base. Let's go. Sounds good to me. Return to base. Feed a elf. How do we even... I can't feed any of them. Why would you even feed them? Pizza? Let's return to base. <sighs> and uh, a D for destroyer. Look at that. My mother would be proud. Welcome to our resistance base, Zero. This is a shelter for injured reploids who are suspected of being mavericks. We have fought so hard to survive. However, we know that the end is coming. But that's why we have been looking for you. You are our last hope. Most of us think that Zero is nothing but a fantasy. However, a few still believe in your existence and have looked for you. You are Zero, the legendary Reploid who fought with X to save the world 100 years ago. X? That name sounds familiar. X, the legendary Reploid is still alive and he's trying to retire all of us. X is trying to retire you? His plans have already begun. Many innocent Reploids are being retired as we speak. They're all being sent to Florida. I, I'm pretty sure I made that joke last time too. We need your help. Our future depends on you. Please help us. Mm. Okay. Thank you. It's like a dream come true. Now, with your help, I think I can save everyone. I have something I need to ask you. Please talk to me when you are ready. I should not talk to her because it's going to make me go to the next mission, which I don't want to do. Um, can I? No, don't talk. I am not ready. Ah! I don't want to. No. <sighs> that was a close one. <laughs> Sorry for the animosity there, folks, but uh, last time I, I engaged in that dialogue, I thought that I could come back to the resistance phase, and uh, I could not. I was locked in the mission, so that was a bit frustrating. I'm going to hold it right here. I'm going to go grab a beer. So I will be right back in about a minute or so. Let's go with... Hey, wait a second. Yeah, it'll always be all right.
and we are back okay so like I said all I really wanted to do was go get a beer uh, it is it is about time it is high time for us to get a beer just making sure that music is playing in the background I think it's playing well let me know if it's not playing uh, there it goes so this is from our friends at Boulevard Brewing this one is called Dank 7, which is a take on their highly venerated Tank 7. Um, Dank 7 is a Belgian style IPA. And what you can see there is that what's showcased in the can really is the hops. Uh, and that is because IPAs largely uh, put their hops forward. IPA stands for India Pale Ale. And they are like pale ales in the sense that they are ale beers that um, are created by using pale malts. The specific uh, type of thing that you're looking for in this particular style is a high uh, concentration of hops. When this beer is being brewed during the boiling process, a lot of lots of different hops are added. And what happens when you boil hops is you actually allow them to secrete bittering agents into the pot, giving uh, beers that classic bitter, steely um, taste. Sometimes it turns a bit dank depending on the, the taste that you, the taste profile that you're trying to achieve with the hops that you're trying to achieve. Now, I don't care for standard IPAs. I've said this a number of times on, on stream, but. Uh, I do like hazy IPAs, so there's that. I do love them, love them dearly. And I also do just enjoy uh, Belgian IPAs. And the main difference there is, why is this song not playing? It's, it's that faint. Okay, let's let's leave it. Okay, that's a bit better. Um, so Bel the difference between Belgian IPAs and most conventional IPAs is the fact that uh, Belgian the Belgian tradition is to style to dress beers with particular spices, things like coriander and cardamom, which uh, definitely take away from the bitterness and make it a bit more of a complex brew. Uh, I've come to love a lot of Belgian IPAs. And me saying that I'm trying, I'm trying to find in my head what exactly is a good Belgian IPA. But you know what? Ask me when I'm not on stream. Ask me when I'm not under the fire. Uh, when somebody's not pointing a gun at me, as they say. Uh, but that's what I have to say about what Thanks Seven is. Let's see what Untapped has to say on the matter. <sighs> okay, so let me zoom in just a bit. No, that's good. So, 13 years ago, Boulevard set the brewing world ablaze with a revolutionary take on a classic Belgian saison, and that's Tank 7, of course. Sparking up creativity again, our first playful Tank 7 seasonal variant offers an approachable ABV and a massive dose of resinous piney hops by loading up this variation with seven different hops. And of course, piney is one of the ways in which you describe that bitter taste. So these are the hops, Bravo, Topa, Simcoe, Mosaic, Columbus, Chinook, and Citra. Um, and I wish that I could tell you what each of these uh, add to the flavor profile, but I am not a hopologist. I am an apologist. I've never had this one before, I guess, but uh, you know what? There's always a first time for everything. Let's go ahead and pour this, and I'll be using a very standard pint glass today. I have a lot of these. They all have different logos. This one is from Leaning Kugels, which used to be a popular beer back in the East Coast. I haven't really seen it here in the west coast and i'm going to assume that uh it probably went down <clears throat> so here's hoping that i've got no accidents on my hands let's go ahead and pour this one So piney is a good way to call it. 
it's not piney as if you would exp you would be like sniffing a Christmas tree or something like that. It, it's something a little sweeter. Bang a nail here, here. So very robust. I want to say a three out of five in body composition. There's a good taste of bittering hops there, all throughout the uh, beer sensation. It's got some good sweet notes. The little citrus there on the nose. It's smooth, almost creamy. I want to say a lot of it comes from this body. And yeah, I guess it does. It it is a bit reminiscent of Tank Seven, but a little more. Um, a little more bitter but it's not like an unsettling bitterness where I would like uh, you know uh, hold it in contempt it is something more of a it is kind of like showing you the way it is presenting itself but it is still restrained it is nothing that lasts uh, on the palate which is something that I don't care for when I'm drinking IPAs I wouldn't call it necessarily refreshing I think it's quite thick and as you can see, it is actually quite translucent. It is definitely not clear. It is certainly a good, a good strong brew. Yeah, but good citrus flavors. This is actually a very delicious um, take on, I guess, a an experiment off of Tank Seven. I, I really like it. I'm gonna give it a solid three seventy five. No, spare me your contest untapped. You have done enough. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and paste it on my ticker so that in case anybody pops in on stream and they're like, I wanna be drinking what Ailes is drinking. I want to imitate this man with Goggles, wolf ears, and a bandana. That's my jam. Uh, okay, so that's enough of that. Let's go ahead and go back to our game. And here we go. Okay, let me pull back the volume here. Okay. So like I said, what I really want to do, apparently, if I had earned an A rank, I would have been able to go through this door and find an elf. And so I guess that elf is lost forever. Find the hungry reploid near the engine room and give him 250 EC and then go to the room beyond him. Okay, let's see what's... See what's going on around here. Let's see what what the deal is. What is this base all about? Why take the elevator when I can just do this? That doesn't seem very efficient. Look at this. Ninja skills. Okay, I'm gonna take the elevator. How about that? <clears throat> hey, who are you? Nice to meet you. You saved Ciel, didn't you? My name is Alouette. Ciel named me. So are all these people Raploids? Is that is that the idea? <clears throat> you don't look familiar to me, sir. I see. Zero is your name. Oh, and uh, thank you very much for the follow, Jennifer Max. Very much appreciate it. I see... Hopefully you're having an excellent day. Yeah. Thank you for uh, stopping by. How are you doing this fine Thursday? Have you ever heard of a thing called Cyber Elf? A Cyber Elf is an electronic entity that gives some kind of a power. But once they use their power, they perish. I feel sorry for them. That is a very sad tale. Oh, actually, it seems like that's uh, that's just the other room that I came from. Do they have more than one line of dialogue? 
Then I'll call you Mr. Zero. My name is Don Donde. It's the name CL gave me. I used to be called ONB6. Dull name, isn't it? No, I've seen duller names on social media platforms. <clears throat> then, okay. I'm doing great, doing some amazing stuff, and just free from college exams, so chilling all time with games. Hey, that's very cool. Um, it's always nice to enjoy summer vacation. I remember when I used to still have it. So please, enjoy it while you still can. Live life to the fullest. <sighs> because some things just don't come back. Ooh, an energy tank. Lucky me. This looks like a training room of some sort. I'm like, hey, that's that's the right attitude to be. In. Yeah, what are you playing these days? Uh, you mentioned that you're playing some games. Please don't say that you're playing Baldur's Gate like every single other person out there. No, that's okay. You can't be playing Baldur's Gate. I heard it's a wonderful game. Ooh, where am I? There's a fence. Wait a second. Isn't this the next mission? Looks a bit like it. Doing something creative too, like I did a project of 3D VTuber model. Hey, I hear those are all the rage. Um, I follow a couple of streams that use um, VTuber models, and I think it's really neat how uh, interactive they are. So, it was you who saved Dr. Seal. Thank you so much. Dr. Seal says she wants to ask you something. Please help her. Okay. All in due time, my friend. Yes, 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 yes. Playing RE4. Ah, so the remake then. Are you a fan of the RE series? I wonder if there's a map somewhere. Cue the song from Dora the Explorer that where she finds the map. Yep, I've I've observed it is in demand. Do you want to see? Uh no, not at this time, but thank you for offering. Alright. What is this area? It looks so empty. Whoa, hey. Oh, ha. Huh. That's the elevator that I went through. Yep, remake has better graphics quality. Yeah, I, I, I wish that I, I could play a Resident Evil 4. It's on my things of game, th list of games to play, but I just never found the time. And I've been around since the original came out, so. been around. What an odd thing to say. I started playing multiple gameplays and streams too. Seeing multiple gameplays and streams too. Yeah, uh, I feel like a couple of months back it was incredibly popular. Uh, lots of streams would actually feature it. <clears throat> okay, this is nothing. I'm gonna check the outside once again, but I really doubt I'm gonna find anything. And I still don't have my combo yet, of course. Come on, let me get through that ladder. This is just like that time that truck blocked Mew. Not 
look at that dash jump. That is certainly not something that I was aware of the first time I played this last week. Ooh, let's see what happens if I keep going. Wait, isn't this just a level? This is just a level, isn't it? CL asked me to watch for asked me to watch for when the enemy's transport train arrives. I'll inform you if a train comes so you can leave this place to me. Okay, well you seem to be uh, very well equipped. Let's go ahead and uh, <clears throat> leave you to your business. Ooh, okay, and here's the stopping point, I guess. Are you the one called Zero? Seal has been looking for you. Please help us, Zero. Yes, I'll help you in due time. Let me see if I can go back to the previous mission so I can actually revamp some of my weapons. The hungry reploid near the engine room. Oh. Right. Now what? You can't actually go inside these garages. Oh well. <clears throat> Can we keep going? Ah, there we go. Trance. Are you the reploid known as Zero, sir? Shouldn't everyone have been debriefed on the situation? They're, they're all like seeing me just walking around. It's like, oh, this guy that looks completely different from everyone. Also like a hundred years old, but uh, we're just gonna ask him if he is Zero. Thank you for saving Dr. Seal. What is this game about? Uh, well, that's a, that's a loaded question, but essentially it is about the robot Mega Man Zero as he is revived 100 years after his slumber and he's trying to help out a resistance and that, that's that's as far as I know right now. Are you familiar with the Mega Man series of games? By the way, know how to use a trans server? No! Let me explain. A trans server basically moves something to someplace. It can transfer you to wherever you have been. If you want to download an electronic entity called a Cyber Elf, this is also the place to do that. Some of the Cyber Elves that you can capture are not usable at first. You should give these Cyber Elves blue items called energy crystals, which you will sometimes find when you destroy an enemy. As you feed Cyber Elf with energy crystals, it'll grow. Once it is fully grown, it will become available to use. However, once you use a Cyber Elf, it will perish. Remember, they are only electronic code, but if you treat them poorly, they will turn on you. That's a... Uh... So you invest in the growth of these Cyber Elves as if they were like, I don't know, chickens. And then, and then you just use them up, which, you know, you eat them. No, I already... Uh, I should have just said yes. Wow. And this is the trance room. I'm assuming that loud EDM will be playing and I will be enjoying myself. Oh, it's a trans... transporter. Look at that. <clears throat> Can we keep going down? No. And this is still not the lowest level. Ooh, you are unfamiliar to me. Are you new here? Is this a Reploid too? Why would anybody create an old man Reploid? <sighs> what do I know about aesthetics? Kick butt so you can become a Reploid like the others.
This place is massive. Where, where is this? Okay, and there's our charge beam, which we did not know about the first time around. Okay. You know, if we were going to have so many empty rooms, maybe don't make the place that massive or may, maybe just make some parts of it look inaccessible. What do you think? You be the judge. Okay, down down in an earlier round. Is this the engine room? Ah, who is this? Wow, are you Zero? I never thought I'd get to meet ya. We believe that your Z-Saber has unlimited potential for power-ups. It could also have an effect on other weapons. I believe your buster can be charged to shoot a powerful energy bullet. Learn more about your weapons? Yes, please. I know you've lost your memory, but you still have skills. You just need to find a way to recover them. Supposedly, your memory has been improving ever since you obtained the Z-Saber. Don't worry. Everything you learned during the battles in your past life will come back in time. The number of skills you recalled is shown in the subscreen by the number of stars. Check it sometimes, but not every time. Well, that's a lot. No, that's unfortunate. I'm not good at persuading someone to change his mind. Uh, you're alright. Don't worry about it. Stop judging yourself so harshly. Huh? Who are you? Ah, uh, who cares? Will you do me a favor? I'm too... Hungry to move. Will you spare me some energy crystals? <sighs> kind of hungry myself. It's a good thing that I'm having some liquid bread right now. 250 crystals will do. Will you give them to me? Uh, I don't even know if I have them, but here you go. Really? How kind of you. Thank you, but I don't have anything to give you in return. Sorry. Uh, really? See, now I'm in tip-top shape. Then go to the room beyond him. We, you thought that your kindness was going to be repaid? Uh-huh. And that is... What Cyber Elf is that? So that's Furef. You want me to help cure you? Okay, so nice. Clock Path, Newbie. Okay, I think that's uh, all of the resistance base. This is essentially where Neo met all of the other people inside the matrix, of course. Yeah, yeah, time to work, get to work. Good fella, good friend. After all, a friend, no. <laughs> Already screwed up. A stranger is a friend you have yet to meet. Somebody said that somewhere. Okay, let's go to the trance room. Do some dancing. <clears throat> boom, boom, boom. Let's try to level up some of our weapons. Look at that. Raw agility.
Let's try to at least get the weapons to level 2. Let's see, main, sub, weapon, elf list. Elf in lead. But, okay, and the number of crystals I have is 14. Three lives for zero. Ooh, there's something up there, I see it. Might as well keep things at range for now. These guys are... Okay. Get up there. <laughs> Have to make sure I keep them at range. Level D. They have the high ground. Nice, nice. Well, we're gonna grind out some level here, folks, so brace yourselves. Maybe up there? No. They are not shy about using that hunk of junk. Whoa. I forget how quickly these, these things revive. How do I? Hmm. So there it is. Maybe there's another opening. Saber skills up. There we go. Now we have a combo. Buster shot skill is up. Now I can shoot four bullets. So as long as I've got my trigger finger on this, I should be okay. Nice, nice. But again, how do I... I don't suppose there's like a power jump. Maybe. 
maybe if I Whoa, hey. Is this a thing? No. I all thought that it was an elevator for a moment. Like a ladder. It is definitely a wall. And like I said, let's try and um our shot level. How about here? No, there's a ceiling there. What am I missing here? Yeah, that's also closed off. All of these robot spiders. Okay, is it? Even if I wanted to, I couldn't reach that high. Oh, come on, you. Now I'm starting to sound like Sideshow Bob. That is what uh, life has boiled down to. Okay, how about from here? Is that... <laughs> well, I can, but I can't. What a nonsense. Look at that. That is so silly. So it goes, I guess. Uh, let's see. Alright, let's keep... Let's just uh, go ahead and power up our weapons and start finishing off this drink. I feel like things will be a lot funner. Once, uh... Once I've reached that point. I want to power up my weapon and Z-Saber at least once more before I go on to the next mission. But of course I might simply tire out. That's a weird angle to train in. I might just need a different sub weapon to achieve that. Who knows? Does it shoot again? Ooh, Buster shot skill up. You can now charge your. Too great. Ooh, red. Okay. Let's use our saber now. Saber J. Nice. And I believe I was watching a YouTube video that suggested that really the way to power up weapons is with the last skill that you use. So if I need to be make sure that I'm killing monsters with the second slash as opposed to the first one, which is probably going to take a while, unfortunately. <clears throat> Is 
nice. Or at least making use of it. <clears throat> Ooh, look at that. You can now perform a triple slash. Look at that. Beautiful. Uh, maybe give it five more minutes and then we'll move on. Is this time really worth it? Maybe. I don't think these enemies are lasting until my triple saver. Like I said, we'll go for another 5 minutes of grinding and then we'll move on. I feel like this is the sort of thing that I probably should have done off stream. Just grind. We'll make you grind. Just like the rude sandstorm. Alright. So, does anyone have any fun weekend plans? <laughs> And I ask that not because I've seen far more successful streamers ask that when they run out of things to talk about. I am honestly curious. Uh, if I were to be talking about my weekend, really the only thing that I've got uh, that I'm really looking forward to is I'll be meeting with some of my friends on Saturday. And I haven't hosted them in a very long time, so this will be something new that I haven't done in a while. Don't expect too much to come of it, but it is it is something nice to look forward to. Wonder if I can power it up one more time. Clearly this means that every time that I'm fighting anyone, I have to use the full combo. I feel like one of the things that uh, modern games uh, don't lack uh, sorry, lack. Ooh, there you go. Saber skill up. You can now charge your slash. Ooh, look at that. So that's very cool. Does it actually show it here? Four stars out of seven. Versus the main weapon, the buster shot is three stars out of four. Okay, so I think we're pretty close. I say maybe let's try to get the buster shot as also at four stars. Uh, let's see, gameplay. If we're talking about weapons. Strategy wiki, why, why must you fail me? Uh... Weapons, weapons, weapons. Here we go. And level 4, it takes less time to charge up, which I think I really want. And level 5 for the Z Saber is just also takes time. Okay, so I'm gonna use the Buster Shop to level 4. And maybe that'll be that. Oh, come on. Nice. Beautiful.
Oh, come on. It sounds like a Super Saiyan powering up. Beautiful. Maybe that's something that I failed to notice the first time I was doing this. Wow, this is... Just lining up this shot is madness. It doesn't really take that long to charge it up to be completely honest with you. But I'm sure that it would be kind of a lifesaver if I had it all the way. Ooh, look at that. Maybe I just need to wait for the red shot. Life is good when you are patient. Boom. Ah, oh, blasted spider. Do the stars actually show me anything? No. Okay, that's fine. Look at that. Ah, oh, they're tasers. Nice, nice. I think I'm getting the hang of it, guys. I think I'm gonna beat Mega Man Zero after all. Wasted my shot there. Fortunately, I'm not losing it. Oh, come on. Seriously, that uh, taser reach is ridiculous. I can be a block away and it would still get me. shot Oof. I was watching a YouTube video that cataloged uh, all the boss fights and it seems like for the most part uh, at least the part of the video that I saw the person was using the buster shot so I know that it is essential for the first goings with bosses. go. Buster shot skill max. I 
Okay, so now we can simply focus on our beam saber. <clears throat> beautiful, beautiful. Let's get out of here. And a, a toast to that victory. Preparation for the first stage of the game. Wait, can we actually feed the elves now? No. It seems like the elves I have are, have already been well fed. That's fine. I forgive you. <clears throat> to your health. I am ready for your mission, CL. Or CL. What am I saying? CL. Yes, I am ready. What I want to ask you is if you would try and do something that no one has been able to do so far. I want you to destroy the disposal center where they retire our comrades one after another. Even while I speak, they may be retiring a Reploid who is wrongly suspected of being a Maverick. To prevent any additional loss of Reploid life, please, destroy the enemy facility. Will you accept? <coughs> <coughs> yes, let's save. <coughs> Data saved. <coughs> wow. The disposal center is up ahead of you. Please rescue our comrade. Mission start. Good luck. Uh, all right, and you know what? Before we move on to the, the rest of this, let's go ahead and take a quick break. Uh, and for that, let me go ahead and leave you with dreaming. I'll be back in about five or so minutes. Maybe we'll make it like six minutes. Uh, gotta take out the corgis and maybe pick another drink. So we'll be right back. Mm. What was I going? Oh yes, dreaming.
and we are back welcome to the ails and fails twitch stream um and welcome everyone who recently joined uh i'm your host ale wolf otherwise known as ales and so on and so forth for a recap watch the vod uh i'm currently playing Mega Man zero and this is actually my second time uh, playing it. It is still my first playthrough because I, I played it last week and I realized that I made a fatal mistake so I restarted my save file. I'm going to say that this is still my first playthrough even though between you and me this is our dirty little secret. It is I guess I, my second technically. Uh, what I decided to do is actually go back and grind out my weapons and both my Z Saber and Buster Shot at, are at four stars each. I feel like this will give me an edge over the upcoming enemy. Um, but enough about technicalities. I feel like we, we, we like spend our time, like we get together, we like barely have any time to like do lunch together and, and I'm just talking about like what, what, what am I doing on the stream. I feel like we need to just like talk about things that are a little more relaxing, things that are stimulating, things that, you know, mellow us out. And for that, I have something called Paul Anner Hefeweizen, which is what's next on tap. We've had this one before on stream, uh, except not in bottle form. Pollander Hefeweizen is a German wheat beer. Uh, Hefeweizen being the term for wheat beer. In Belgium, they're known as wheat beers. And the main thing about wheat beers is that they're ales that where the primary uh, malt that is used comes from wheat as opposed to barley, which is the most common uh, grain used for beers. It gives them a slightly foamier taste. They're a little sweeter than bitter, and uh, they're a little grainier, I wanna say. They're thicker in body composition. A lot of wheat beers are not filtered, which gives them like this hazy-like status. Again, they are richer in body. And <clears throat> I wanna say, before I drank wheat beers, I actually did not drink beers. I did not enjoy them. And this was a perfect entry point for them. I will never forget my first Who Garden, and neither should you. Um, but that is are my thoughts on it. Let's see what Untapped has to say on the matter. <clears throat> A healthy 5.5% alcohol by volume. The number one Hefeweizen in Germany and one of the world's favorites. And it is true, uh, at least uh, Paul Anner is one of the six primary breweries in the region of Munich, uh, the place that holds the yearly Oktoberfest. Naturally cloudy and shining silky gold in the glass under a really strong head of foam. At the first mouthful, this wise, wise beer classic has a wild, mild aroma of banana. Finer palates detect traits of mango and pineapple and the balance between sweet and bitter. I like that because it's suggesting that, hey, if you don't have a fine palate, you can't taste that mango and pineapple. Beer connoisseurs appreciate the fine note of yeast and the mild but sparkling mix of aromas. It is a typical beer garden beer, yes, heavily featured in the Oktoberfest, which brings people together all over the world. So a lot of a lot of history there, Paul Adner being one of the iconic uh, breweries of uh, the Munich region. But that's, uh, that's enough of that. Let's go ahead and taste it ourselves. And before that, I'm gonna cleanse my palate with some water. Okay, let's open up this sucker. And so yeah, one of the things that predominantly uh, are evoked whenever you're drinking a wheat beer, it is it is that taste of banana. It is like a banana bread type, type taste. So if you enjoy banana breads, you're gonna love German wheat beers. And so like I said, a very a thicker kind of beer, certainly not as opaque as the Tank Seven, but certainly you can. You, it is certainly less in transparent. It's a more of a golden color as opposed to a yellow, so it's not a pale. In terms of a head, very sudsy. Some good strong uh, cl notes of cloves, uh, amylose, which is some of the compounds found in bananas. Fang and ale, dear viewer. And some strong taste of banana, very grainy there. No real hints of bitterness that I can detect. 
very uh, mealsome. It's almost like you can take a bite out of it. And yeah, just a delectable, palatable. It leaves a clear finish on the mouth. It is actually very refreshing. And actually, that's one of the reasons why I gravitated towards this beer today. It is quite hot. I did manage to install a, a nice fancy cooling fan in the ale then um, after last week's fiasco. So hopefully you can't hear it and it helps me stay a bit cooler. Um, but yeah, this is a delicious summer beer. I recommend you have it. I, I love Paul and or have a bison. <clears throat> so with that, let me go ahead and give it a rating. I want to say that I've had this on stream before seven times at the very least 3.5 today for me and you got my check-in let's go ahead and copy this add it to our ticker just in case anybody's keeping count on how many beers has ales had today wait where did the rest of that go some technical difficulties here folks Okay, so I think that does it with that. I think we go back to our game, shall we? Let's go back to our game. Maybe for another half hour, I think. Yeah, I think half of hour, but should be good. Uh, and here we go. So like I said, both our main weapon and our sub weapon are at four stars. I think what I'm going to do is that since my ma my buster shot is already charged, I'll try to focus on char um, powering up my excuse me Z saber. Oh come on! Why do I exist? I'm ready for you now. Of course, it doesn't show up now. Not that way. But I want to go anyways. Okay, so this is the same exact message that she gave me the first time around. Can I charge both of them? Looks like it. Look at that. I'm like a sitting duck here. Can I actually hit those shots? I can't unleash my saber fast enough. That's obnoxious. a cyber elf can I just wait for them to come get me I better step lightly got another cyber elf ah nice what Anything else around here? Always charge. Always be charging. ABC. Oh, come on. Why did I do that in the first place? What was the point? Is it gonna just show up again?
He just killed the whole thing. Is this a good place to actually just charge this thing? Alright, I don't need to do this. You got a Cyber Elf. Another one. What? There's a save point right here. Is there like, are there any safe zones? That's my question. There's no place to like take a break here. Whew, wow. I thought that was, I thought I had three lives. I guess those are ch the checkpoints for you. So in theory, I shouldn't have to be worrying about lives. things to worry about to be charging. No. Okay. Wow. Actually, one of the things that I forgot to do was even check the strategy wiki. See if there was anything that I could should be doing here. Some spiking cell drop burst key. The carry arms to carry spirit kings instead not only are hard to reach, but they also are one of the few enemies that don't drop any cyber elf. Destroy some pantheon heart hunter cell drop Gareth. The containers change direction on the wind. If you spare them, they can boost your speed, but they could also push you into an enemy. And they don't drop cyber elves. Destroy the totem cannons and they'll drop Giver. So did I get all three of these? I feel like just killing... Um, so I have Gareth. I have Burski and Giver. And then... Yeah, I think I have the three of them. And then Aztec Falcon, of course, is coming up. Nice. But once again, I thought I had three lives, which is why I was wondering, why did it give me like a game over sign? Where did that thing go? Ugh. I hate that I lose my charge if I come into contact with an enemy. Z there. I'm guessing that's an extra life. One thing that I sometimes don't realize is the fact that if I press left or right twice, that actually counts as a dash. Oh, wow. Backstab. <laughs> it's like, oh, you better uh, jump really high to get over the... Uh, get over the spikes. But of course... 
There's just another pit over yonder. Better not stick around because those things regenerate. Oh man. Impossible jumps. And I think when I destroy those things, I actually get rid of the rain moving things around. Is that another cyber elf? Okay, we made it, I think. This is where we stopped last time. Through the shutter. You'll reach the disposal center. So good. Good, good. <sighs> okay. So one more checkpoint. Let's go ahead and do our best here. Might take a few tries, but you know what? I think at the very least we're more prepared than last time. I'm Aztec Falcon! Harpuya, the guardian. Send me to clean up. Hey, help! Help me! You must be some of the garbage. <laughs> Just in time, I'll dispose of both of you together. Alright, let's remember how to do this. I guess really the key to this was doing charge shots. Who would have thunk? Boom. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Thank you. I never expected someone would come to rescue me. Thank you so much. I'm still in shock. <laughs> I'll never return to our base when I'm able to walk again. Oh, sorry. I'll return to our base. You can go back now. I'll be fine. What about those guys behind you? Are they are they trouble? Are they hustling you? Thank you for your cooperation, Zero. That is a thunder chip, I presume. You must get it before you return to the base. Gosh, she sure is a uh, my leading commander here. Got the thunder chip. Can I equip it? Okay. Okay, so it gives me like an electric charge. Do you have anything more to say? My only hope is that it never happens again. Great. What about you guys? What, what are you... What's your deal? Thank you so much. I don't think... I think these guys are petrified. Okay, so this was a door. <clears throat> Good. Can we feed an elf today? Can I pet the dog? Oh, look at that. Ah, let's go ahead and give everything to it. Well, actually, I, do I? Can I actually use the crystals for anything else? Good question. 
following more stuff. So let's not feed it yet, because I'm not even going to use it yet anyways. Download Elf. Right, that allows me to equip them. Well, at the very least, we completed the mission. Zero, thank you. I never thought I'd see the day when the Reploid Disposal Center was destroyed. Innocent Reploids will be safe for a while. Thank you so much, Zero. You are Zero, the legendary Reploid. I'd like to ask your help again when you have time. That is if you don't mind doing us a favors. Please come t and talk to me. I'll be waiting for you, just like Renoa. By the way, if you go to the engine room downstairs, you'll find our engineer named Servo. He asked me to give this to you. It's called Escape Unit. If you use it during a mission, you will be able to abort that mission and evacuate. I could have used that last time. But remember, the mission will be considered to be a failure if you evacuate it. <sighs> Excuse me. <clears throat> That's fair. I don't mind failing every once in a while. <coughs> okay, before the next mission recommended Farming e crystals and spider's nets in underground laboratory. Going back to the disposal center and going to the purple tower enemies to level up your Z Saber to level 5. But up to level 7 if you want. Maybe that's what we'll do for the rest of the stream actually, just level up our Saber. Suppose so talk to old Andrew. He will give you Quaka. Hanging off of a hook. Wow, well, okay. So let's go check some stuff out. Let's take it easy, folks. I feel like we've done a great deal already. Zero, thank you for saving me. Hey, you're that guy. Thank you very much, sir. They say you saved a friend of mine. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're alright, kid. I want to be a scientist. Oops, I almost forgot. I heard that a cyber elf who was in CL's room is missing. Said to be a baby elf, so I wonder if it lost its way home or something. Was that the cyber elf that revived me? Should I follow her? A good example, I never felt kindness from others when I was in New Arcadia. Anything else? Yes, 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 yes. The energy room. Oh, I see. There's an energy tank on. Huh? Okay, and this is where we were just now. So that guy is gone. Which good. Oh, come on. <clears throat> we can't disarm this security system now. Okay, well I guess that's my invisible wall right there.
wonder if I can jump over it. No, I think it goes all the way to the sky. Was that what the old man was blocking? There's a hidden box. Oh, there's a door here. That's the desert. And of course there was a hidden box right there that was definitely not visible. Still enjoying a wheat beer? Hopefully you are too. Oh, come on. gonna be blocked here. No, it actually just turns into the level, I guess. Can I just drop down? It's not like I take fall damage here. Still? Okay but I will be coming back. <clears throat> Just you wait. That was the same energy room. Oh, and this just sends me all the way back up, huh? Trance is transport. Wait, what is the blue room? <laughs> Old man. Um, you are a new boy, aren't you? Are you kicking butt so as to become like the other reptoids? Listen, son. Listen, son. Are you interested in what I have to say? Yeah, let's go for it. You're interested in my story, just like an old man. We are all interested in you listening to our story. Thanks for saying that. I may not look it, but I used to be a handsome reploid. So he was a reploid at some point, or very popular with the ladies. Yeah, we all were. It was the night of the full moon when it happened, and I became a werewolf. I was carrying containers in the warehouse at the harbor, heard a song drifting over the night air. I looked up to find a beautiful lady with long hair singing in front of this crowd that had gathered at the harbor. I was amazed to find that it was deeply moved by her song, though my body and mind are made of machines. After spending time together and talking, uh, now this is a clean stream, old man. We fell in love and eventually started living together. Um, are you t tired of listening? 
Uh, no, this sounds very interesting. Oh, you want to listen? I told you up to the time we began to live together, didn't I? I'll continue. As time went by, she grew older and older while I remained the same. That's weird. She came to resent how she looked and began avoiding me. So I asked CL to modify me to be what I am now so that we could be together. She has long since passed away, but the memory of her will never be erased from my memory chip. Well, that's kind of sad. Thank you for indulging me with your company and listening to my story. Keep this as a token of my gratitude. Ah, oh, look, look at that, a new card. Anything else, old man? Good luck, son. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I, I know. Get out of here. Get out of here. Say. What is the? What is that elf, anyways? What is? What is that elf? It's one of these Lippy. Is it Lippy? No, it's it's supposed to be Klaka. Lippy is the one that I got upstairs. Sacrifice me for vitality. So I guess that's just energy, huh? I think the big ones are the ones that require feeding. Yeah, Klaka is. I can slow time, just like use my power for more time. Clock paw. Clock paw. I'm starting to think that some of these do the same thing. Nothing in here, of course. And last, I think this is supposed to be the engine room, right? I still can't believe you are who CL says you are. Wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. My name is Servo. Okay, yeah. If only I had enough time and data, I could develop some weapons for you. I'm too busy to ask old Andrew to tell me about old times. But you should try to keep him company and listen to what he has to say. It's helpful and informative to spend time with the aged. Yeah, I, uh, I agree. <clears throat> As my grandmother used to say, the devil is not wise because he is a devil, but because he is old. I know they call me excess baggage behind my back, but I didn't ask to be created like this. Oh uh, well, we all need a cuddly model, I always say. And the final room of the game, that has nothing. Well, let's grind out some weapons for the last few minutes of the stream. What time are we at? Yeah, pretty close. Let's go to that disposal center. So do all stages that you've defeated just end up having this song because that would not be great. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I guess so. This has got to be a riveting programming, folks.
I guess even though I might be doing this right now, probably try to do some of it off stream. Well, it's been real. Give me a sign that it, this is still increasing in level. Ugh, let's find another one. This is boring me. Grinding is boring me. There we go. Charge your slash in less time. That's good. I can see it. What is the next level exactly? And give me just a second of real life. Okay. Beautiful stranger. Let's see what else we can do around here. All right. can't actually stand on this thing. Let me just see what exactly the next level of this Z Saber does. Must do a jump attack. To obtain zero can now perform a spinning slash while in the air. You can still perform the original aerial slash by holding down as you use it. Spinning slash while dashing. Okay, so both six and seven require specific, very specific slashes. Not bad. And maybe that's why it was not increasing as quickly with this charge because I was doing a lot, lot or at least a significant amount of uh, jumping slashes. All right, let me get out of here. I think that's enough grinding. Let me not kill all my progress here. in the safety of our base. Can I actually just quit from the menu? You can't escape now. And I think data is just where you meet CL. Let me leave, let me find one of those crystals. How about that? Oh, 
Okay. <sighs> Let's leave it there. And let's go with this. <clears throat> okay, well, that was productive. Thank you very much for joining me in the Ails and Fails Twitch stream. Uh, I think we are getting the hang of this Mega Man Zero game. Uh, and of course, I say this even though I've only beaten the first level of the game, but I, I think the the idea is to over prepare before challenging some of these missions. I have to get my reflexes up. I gotta just uh, do some homework before tackling this game. But I think we'll be all right in the normal level. Um, and that's really how I want to beat it. Uh, thank you very much for any time you invested into this stream. If you like this kind of nonsense, I'll be on tomorrow. I'll be playing Hades and then some Monster Hunter Rise, hopefully with some viewers. Um, yeah, and if you feel like this is not your sort of thing, uh, well, congratulations, I agree. Uh, there's a lot of awesome streams out there that you could be watching with lots of awesome people to talk to. Um, yeah, so please, uh, enjoy your time. Uh, do, do the thing that makes you happy, uh, if, if there's any takeaway from today. Uh, and with all that being said, stay thirsty, Ale Pack. We'll see you again. Thank you.